Okay, so we are going to be making the feet for Otis the Owl, and to do that we are using this Bravo worsted yarn in the color Brindle, and we've got our three and a half millimeter crochet hook. So to get started, we are going to take our hook, create a slip knot, and we're going to start with a chain three. So we'll go one, two, three. And then in the second chain from the hook, we're going to place a single crochet. Okay. And then in the sec uh, next chain here, we're going to do another single crochet. So for this row, we only have two single crochets. So then we're going to chain one and turn. And then so for row two, we're going to single crochet in each stitch. So that, again, will leave us with two single crochets. I know it's a little tiny here, but bear with me. We're getting there. We're gonna ch chain one and turn. And then um, we're going to single crochet, or increase, into both of these stitches. So single crochet, increase, and then single crochet, increase into the second stitch. So now we have four stitches. So we're going to chain and uh, goodness, we're going to turn and then we're going to chain four. So I did my one chain one, we're going to two, three, four, and this is where um, some people might get a little lost, but see we've got our chain four and then we're going to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. Okay, there's our slip stitch. And then we're gonna slip stitch into the next two stitches. So there's one and two. Okay, and then we're gonna slip stitch into the next um, stitch of the round, or of the previous row. So that will be this stitch here. Not the one your chain comes out of, but the next single crochet. Okay, so we're gonna slip stitch there and then it says to chain four again so one two three and four and then we're going to do what we did with this first toe here so we're going to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and then slip stitch in through the remaining two chains and there's three Okay, and then we're going to slip stitch into the next single crochet from the previous row. Okay, so there's our uh, slip stitch, and then we're going to chain four again. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. There we go. And then slip stitch into the remaining two chains. There we go and then we're going to slip stitch into the last stitch of the previous row. Oops, goodness, I keep missing that second loop there. There we go. All right, so once you've done your slip stitch, we're going to slip stitch down the side of the foot, placing a slip stitch into the end of each row. So we had three rows, so we're gonna to have to do three slip stitches. So we'll go Oops, goodness. Sorry about that, drop my yarn there. So there's one, two, and into that last row, three. Okay, flip it over, and this, because this is the uh, right side of your foot, and there's your bird foot. So then you'll just uh, finish off by pulling your yarn through the uh, slip stitch, leaving a long tail so you can sew that on to your bird. And you would sew that onto the bottom of your bird. Um, try to keep them as close to flat as possible so he doesn't have any issues with standing up. And voila, one bird foot.